Hey guys, what's going on? Tonight, Bruce here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, despite what you might think from the title, this video is actually not clickbait. I am going to be investigating what the fastest bridging method in Minecraft is. And I have come to some pretty interesting conclusions thus far, off camera, about what the fastest bridging method is. And it might actually surprise you guys. So in previous videos, I kind of showed that, you know, god bridging or moonwalking, aka going back like this, infinitely without moving, is basically impossible. And that's true. I also demonstrated that if you slow your movement down by going side to side, because you move slower uh, going backwards by going side to side, you can actually infinitely bridge. Let me demonstrate that right now. So as you can see, going back and forth, and I am using a uh, macro at the moment, just so you guys know, but I'm using it to just prove that it's possible to do. Going side to side, I can, if I time my clicks correctly, I can basically go infinitely far because I'm moving slower. And finally, I also showed that if you move up while god bridging backwards, like go up one block, you can, in fact, god bridge forever. So now we're going to be measuring the speeds at which three different bridging methods will take me. The first one is Breezley bridging, and we're going to travel around 20 blocks or so and see, and we're going to time that, and we're going to see how long that takes. Next one is going to be god bridging, but we move up one block every four blocks or so, so I don't fall off. And the final one will be shift bridging or speed bridging. And we're going to compare them and see exactly how fast each one is. All right, everyone. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing Breezley bridging. So we're going to test how long it takes me to go 20 blocks while Breezley bridging. So let's begin. All right. Do, 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 do. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Just go side to side like this. And, and okay. So I'm going to put the time that it took on the screen right now. So I took the time in seconds of the first place in the video and the last place. And I subtracted them and I got around 5.909 seconds for 20 blocks of Breezley bridging about. All right, everyone, so now that I have done breezily bridging, I am now going to do speed bridging, a.k.a. sneaking. So let's begin by just sneaking at the end of a block and begin. All right. All right. We're going to try to do it every couple blocks at least. I'm not sure. Um, now, with this high CPS macro, I can actually shift a little bit less than I usually can. So as you can see right there, like kind of like in the middle, I kind of shifted a little bit less, which means that I should get the maximum speed you can basically... Uh, speed bridge at so let's take a look at that right now okay everyone so we got approximately 7.446 seconds to go 20 blocks while speed bridging now in the background here you can see uh me doing a slightly different method where i don't shift every block but you know if you get your timing correctly you do not have to shift every block and in this method i actually got a lower time so i actually got 6.9 seconds instead of 7.4 so if you time it correctly you can shift a lot less and you can actually go a lot faster Anyway, so now that I've proven that Breezley bridging is faster than speed bridging, we're now going to be testing vertical god bridging. So this method is a little bit more difficult to quantify than the previous two, but we're basically going to be going back and then up, back and then up, back and then up. Um, the angle at which you actually do this really matters, and also the frequency at which you go up also matters. However, I am not really able to do it, you know, long in long stretches without going up much, but I'll try. So if I kind of like look right there, all right, let's go back, now up. Now back, now up, now back, now up, now back, now up. Okay, so that's pretty much at, uh, at the uh, fastest I can go while vertically god bridging. And as you can see, I've moved around like four blocks, I think, without shifting. So time for that is on the screen right now. So I'm no longer going to be including my exact methodology on the screen. Basically, just keep in mind that I'm taking the first place from the last place. And as you can see, I actually went faster by 0.1 seconds than my Breezley bridging test. Now, these are kind of interchangeable. I would have to do a lot more testing to really make, sh or make sure that one is faster than the other. But as you can see, I went 5.8 six three seconds to go 20 blocks while vertically god bridging now i could go faster i could go slower it depends on the method right you have to be really lucky you have to time your clicks correctly and stuff now here's the fun part here's stuff that you guys have not seen before i was thinking a few days ago and i was thinking hmm i wonder if there's a way to god bridge legit and no this is very interesting because no one has really thought of this in my video where i talked about why moonwalking is impossible i talked about because your movement basically catches up to your block placement. It is impossible to, you know, god bridge without sh without shifting, without going up, or without moving, you know, back more than, let's say, 10 blocks. But I was thinking, what if I give myself slowness? Now, because I am actually moving slower, does this mean that I can actually, you know, god bridge backwards for longer and effectively 
actually outpace these other bridging methods in the same amount of time, even though I'm moving slower. Because I don't have to shift, I don't have to move, I don't have to go up. So I'm gonna give myself a slowness effect. All right, so I just gave myself slowness one for you know 15 minutes, whatever. I'll override it later when we're gonna be trying slowness two. But what I found is the slower that you go, the farther you can actually god bridge. So for example, if I give myself uh, a speed pot, now I have to slash heal obviously, but if I give myself a speed pot, like speed two slash heal, you can see that I can barely go any blocks backwards. Check this out, ready? Instantly fell after three blocks. So if speed makes me go less, slowness should be able to make me go more. All right, everyone, so I gave myself slowness, and just keep in mind, slowness one has a much higher chance of you falling than the other slownesses. So this might take a few tries. This is actually my third try actually trying to go 20 blocks. Um, so let's just try to God Bridge backwards with slowness. And can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, we almost, we almost made it. But as you can see, I did go a lot farther than normal. Now I'm going to try to get the full 20 blocks and now quantify it for you guys so we can, you know, measure it up against the other three bridging methods. Now, this took me about 20 tries to actually do because the chance of falling is so high with slowness one, but I did finally do it and I got 5.1 seconds to go 20 blocks. So this is faster than Breezley bridging, it is faster than God bridging, and it is faster than shift bridging or, you know, speed bridging. But the chance of falling is very high. However, it is the fastest method that we've tried so far. Next up, we're going to be trying slowness too. Now, this is going to decrease the rate of falling quite a bit. However, I am going to be going slower, so keep that in mind. Anyway, let's begin. So I found the total time for slowness to god bridging is 6.642 seconds. Now, this is slower than vertical god bridging and slowness one god bridging as well as breezily bridging however it is faster than both methods of speed bridging fortunately so this is actually a pretty good alternative to speed bridging if you do not uh you're not comfortable breezling and you don't want to fall as often as you would when you're when you're breezily bridging because that requires a lot of timing this requires a little less timing because you're moving a little slower now, finally, I'm going to do a combination of Breezley Bridging and God Bridging. So this is going to be called Pseudo Breezley Bridging. I don't really know an actual name for it. But essentially, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, go, I'm, I'm going to be going backwards, but also kind of move over to the side a little bit sometimes. Um, and kind of just uh, alternate between God Bridging and Breezley Bridging. But, you know, move enough so I don't fall, but don't move every single block like I was with Breezley Bridging. So let's begin. All right, so to my surprise, pseudo breezily bridging is actually slower than regular breezily bridging, but uh, not by much. But this would actually uh, make it the uh, second fastest bridging method behind vertical god bridging, ignoring the slowness god bridging. The slowness god bridging is the fastest. One more thing that I thought was pretty cool is if you ever want to god bridge, if you ever want to show off to your friends that you can god bridge, you don't have to move, you don't have to go up, you don't have to, you know, go side to side. Just give yourself slowness 4. You can do it indefinitely without falling. So I gave myself slowness 4, and uh, we're going to god bridge. Oh my god, guys, this is insane. Oh my god. Can you believe this? This is the fastest Brizzly bridger, uh, god bridger ever in Bed Wars. Oh my god, guys. This is insane. Oh my god. You could actually do this with uh, Slowness 3 as well, except Slowness 4 makes it so it's basically impossible to actually fall. But as you can see, I am god bridging. I'm going to speed up the recording right now to make it look like I'm actually going fast. Oh my god, guys. Look how fast I'm going. This is insane. Oh, I finally fell after 80 blocks, but whatever. Anyway, hope everyone enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.